Hello everyone, uh, this is gonna be the last uh, forget about it directly mentioning Channel Awesome. Uh, I just wanted to say that it was really fun to re-upload them because well she was like dude you have to re-upload those episodes particularly like the uh, Kikassia first year brawl and this one Suburban Nights because they were awesome and now they're really topical with all what's happening lately but the thing is and i don't want to lie to you or bullshit anyone and you have to be honest with me too but the only reason that recently i got a lot more subscribers and views on this channel is mainly because ca bullshit and i don't want to be that guy you know to become uh, just a person that pokes fun at the dead horse and keep on going with that so I think I will re-upload all the episodes of Forget About It because actually it's really fun to do, you know, to try to dust them off, make them look better. Uh, I, I see all the all the problems I had when I first began to make videos, you know, like e editing, rhythm and stuff like that. It's actually fun to re-upload it, but to make them look better with uh, the experience I got from all this time. But I just don't want to become a parody and, and just make video to say bad stuff about Channel Awesome. For me, it's done, you know, move on. I want to re-upload the Suburban Night review because it's actually really funny and I have fond memories of it. Yeah, last video of me complaining about Channel Awesome. I hope you understand and I know I will make a, a lot less views now that I'm going to talk about other stuff, you know, but thanks for watching anyway. And at the end of this review, I'm going to upload the entire song I made for Suburban Night because in my musical career, it's a song I'm really proud of, so I hope you will uh, enjoy the entire video and thanks for uh, subscribing or just watching my videos. And if you watch my video because you actually like me, not just because I uh, I tend to shit on Channel Awesome, thank you anyway, thanks to all of you. And now, sit back, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Dude, they're good spoony on their way and they look pretty pissed. Well, she... And? Nothing. I just want to see you get beaten up. Okay, okay, shut up. What is it about? What are you doing? You're a douche hole! You're a douche hole! Okay, okay. One whining two at a time. Get in line by order of popularity. Okay, one whining two at a time. Get in line by order of popularity. Okay, Rob. Done! Whatever. What can I do for you? You made one of your stupid videos about Kikassia! You gave it one out of ten! No. No? No? It was on the site! Everybody saw it! I would never do that. You know that. You in the video! You credited yourself as the writer! Listen, Rob. Done! Sure. Well, you know, I'm French. Therefore, I'm not funny, and there's no way I would be clever enough to make such a brilliant and controversial video, right? Well, it is true. French people do suck. Everybody knows that. Now, who claimed to be the best and to make the most controversial videos? Hey, that's true. Ever since he sold out, he can't shut up about being extreme and stuff. Right. <laughs> okay, Miles. Your turn. It's Spoony! If you say so. What is your problem? My problem?! Quiet. Sorry. My problem is that you made fun of Highlander and, well, generally, you're an asshole! Miles! Spoonie! Miles! You're my best man! You know that! I love all your video and I even made a song for you! You're weird! I know. But let's go back to your problem. Oh! Hey, hey, hey! I would never say that Highlander sucks! Oh, motherfucker! Ow. Well, motherfucker. Okay, guys, time to go. Oh, by the way, what's your next video about? Forget about it, Suburban Night. Oh, what the hell, man? You're the tallest in record as you guys are gonna kill you, I'm gonna die! Well, 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 motherfucker. And now back at my place. Anyway, hello and welcome to a new episode of Forget About It, where amazing happens. Sadly, this episode won't contain anything amazing, considering I'm going to talk about Suburban Nights. Oops, here goes all my opinion about that movie in one sentence. 
This movie open on a... No, wait, I can call this a movie, that would be a blasphemy. Uh, let's call it Morganars. These Morganars open on a field showing the guardian angel from that review I didn't watch. He is obviously not the angel here because he is dressed in black and talk menacingly. Basically making him a new entrance in the most obvious villain competition. It's always good to know that Doug Walker thinks highly of his audience intellect by not trying too hard in the subtlety department. Marmite, the villain, pay attention kid, is a wizard that kills people when they think technology is cool. But he has a cell phone which makes him a bigger hypocrite than Spoonie when he is talking about Final Fantasy and The Legend of Zelda. Oh yeah, burn! Wait, I don't even like The Legend of Zelda. Then we're introduced to the main cast of the movie, basically the same dimwits as every year, except a few ones that didn't bitch enough on Twitter or who got fired. They are all introduced in the most original way, by screaming and yelling at each other, making threats about murdering everybody. Some things that never happen in three years of existence. Sometimes I wonder if those guys are real or they just pretending to be somebody else, like actors. The main plot... Yes, is centered around finding a magic gauntlet that nobody will suspect to be the power glove, even though it is. Please be sure to check my previous statement about Doug knowing his audience intellect. So apparently they have to dress up to find said gauntlet. So to be really different than their previous fantastic effort from last year, they yell at each other while saying they're going to murder everybody. Then we move on to some random scenes of them fighting things and stuff from the Wizard of Oz cast. But I don't like it because Spoonie doesn't have a bigger part. Okay, enough. All that... What's going on here? What do you mean? Well, for starters, you're actually talking about the movie. Sort of. For you, anyway. And secondly, you actually seem bitter about it. And third, you're not wearing the suit. I know, it just... I, I wasn't invited. Why? It's like a reward, you know? What are you talking about? You hate those guys. I know, I know. It's just, I've been doing this for so long. For so long? This is this is only your 20th episode. Believe it or not, I didn't remember that. Amazing. But it's like, nothing I do matters. People always remember something from a good show, like a running gag or a catchphrase. Well, motherfucker, forget about it. I'm done. What the hell am I doing? You know, well, she lately. Have... <laughs> you know, well, she. I think I have to stop this. I mean, especially after that little pony video, where all I wanted to say, and quite honestly, is that. Uh, just... Dude, I can't hear you! The music is way too loud! And you're not even facing the camera! Sorry, but like I was saying, I have to stop this. What the hell are you talking about? You're the goddamn panda! The people want you to forget it. The people need you in that suit. Otherwise they don't know who the hell you are. We want you back. We need you to forget it for the millions of people who don't watch your videos. We need you to forget about it. Yeah, you're right. I have to get this back on track. Yeah! Wait a minute. I just got beat up by Doug and Spoonie because of you. That's like getting beaten up by two of the Mr. Men. Why the fuck am I rooting for you? Damn, he's good. In a time where comedy was gone, and uh, something whatever, I guess. make an effort to remember what I say in the previous part, because I will be not telling it again. I just don't bend to peer pressure like some other people do. 
So like I said previously, they go in the forest of Narnia to beat up the cast of the Muppet Show to prove that after 3 years of existence, centering your plot around beating stuff down never gets old. We also get to know that Angry Joe is absolutely not related to Kurt Russell. No, no, no! How did I come up with that connection? Forget about it. But let's move on. They keep walking and finding stuff to completely rip off the Lord of the Ring walking marathon. And then, the first big event of the movie appears. It was Kaiser Sozzy all along! Uh, no wait, wrong movie. The, the big reveal of Suburban Night was... Darth Vader was Luke Father all along! Uh, no. That was actually pretty good. Uh, oh, I know. The big reveal of Suburban Night is... That dude is in it. Yep, one hell of a reveal. And also there's my tea. Yay. After following the yellow brick road and getting rid of Gollum, they finally find the Holy Grail. I mean gauntlets that were recently turned into the Power Glove. Then something fantastic happened. They go into space to find a mystical sword to defeat Malachite. They have to run through the Twelve Saints' house to solve ancient mystical puzzle and defeating the two colossus of death and despair. A truly brilliant narrative way that will also develop each character's trait, like the fear, hopes, and possibly the reasons of Brad Jones' betrayal when he submits to the Lord of the Crystal Pepsi. It's where the movie takes a really mystical turn and... No, just kidding, they have a big fight and yell. Then for another not predictable ending, Matty defeats Malachite and Matty dies, boom, end of the movie. And even the ending music was shit and inappropriate. Listen. Come on, fat soul, and just bust the move. But I probably got it wrong, so forget about it. Except you and me both know I'm right on this one. What? Attention, Rob Walker is going to delete this video and your existence for very flimsy reasons. Oh my god, no! I crossed the line so far, it's a dart to me now! What am I going to do? Oh, never mind that shit! No one ever gonna bring me down! So forget about it! Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna... Forget about it, I said! Thank you. 
But when everything is going dark There's no chance to come back To come back, to come back We went by with the promise of fame But now that I think of it Stand by my side, it will be okay. In a flight of fantasy, I don't want to end this way. In my flight of fantasy, stand by my side. Yeah.